This place is filled with so many memories, it's almost Proustian. We'd always, for dinner, end up in this restaurant here in the corner called Sun Hung Hurong. And actually, I'm gonna take a picture of it because I love Chinese are the ultimate pragmatists, right? And they just build on top of things and never mind anything else but function. For me, it's like time. Each addition represents something else. Like in China, you can tell when something was built by the architecture. So, you know, there's a great building period in the 80s, 90s, 2000s during the Olympics, which really transformed the country. Some of that I think I learned in photographing here in Chinatown to prep me for China. Looking back at the work from the 1980s now, I'm struck by how pressing it is, how it anticipates what's occurring now. I always say the work knows more than I do. And I'm gratified that people find meaning in the work. My hope is you'll come away with a more nuanced understanding of China, her relationship with America and to the world. I feel sorry for anyone who has to travel with a photographer. We're the worst people to be with because we want to stop and look at everything. <laughs> oh wait, here, I gotta, let me see something here. Oh, I don't know. Hello, hello. May, may, may I take a picture of you guys? Sure, okay, great. Yeah. But sorry, it's a mess. No, this, don't, don't move anything. Okay. Everything's perfect. Okay. <laughs> A lot of Asian art, and it's not exclusive to Asian art, is rooted in grief. From the Chinese poems that were carved into the walls in Angel Island to the art from the Japanese internment camps. What I love most about that work is despite the, the dreadful conditions uh, that the work emerged from, the work really communicates joy and hope and love. I lost my son in a swimming accident two years ago. You know, grief is like a, a constant undertow pulling you in. And the only way I can keep going is to recall my love for my children. The death of my son profoundly changed me as an artist. Before I used to embody the uh, romantic myth of the rugged individualist artist. Now I realize how destructive that model is. We're not alone, but we're supported by a community. And I now understand that art is communal. It's inclusive. It's a compassionate experience. What I'm looking for are just unusual details. And I think photography, like art, like anything, it's all in the details. I have to arrange myself in the face of this versus, you know, inventing or something. I got one more picture I'm going to take. So. That might be the shot. 